Hi there. We're going to look at a question where we're supposed to find the maximum area of a rectangular object today. Now, um, when we do this, we're going to use, uh, once we figure out an equation, which will have something to do with a parabola, um, we're going to use Desmos to graph it. And that's where the word technology comes in. Okay? We could graph it using graph paper, but in this course, uh, they're encouraging us to use technology, so we're going to use it. Okay? <laughs> it does make things a little easier and quicker. So here's the situation. A farmer wants to enclose her chickens in a rectangular pen. She has only 40 meters of fence to work with. Okay? So she's got 40 meters in total. 40 meters all the way around. That's it. Okay? It has to be a rectangular shape, which means it either has to be a square shape or a long, skinny rectangle. We'll figure that out in a second, okay? Anyway, she wants to give her chickens the maximum amount of space. What dimensions will give her maximum area for her chickens? Okay, well the first thing, when it comes to a uh, rectangle or a rectangular shape, we call this the length and we call this the width. And if we're talking about perimeter, do you remember the formula? The perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width because there's two of those widths as well. Okay? Um, if it was a square, of course, we could just go 4 times whatever side they've given us. But uh, it's a rectangular shape, so let's stick to this for now. Okay, she has 40 meters of fence to work with. So because we know she has 40 meters of fence to work with, we can write that right there. Now, this question, these types of questions, they're, they're usually given to us uh, when we talk about quadratics, just like um, we just finished doing a video on how to find the maximum area, no, sorry, on how to find the maximum revenue. So how much, what's the maximum money? you could make. And that was also a quadratic situation where you have a parabola, okay? And we'll be looking at a parabola, um, and we'll be looking for the maximum of that parabola. The maximum, in this case, area. Just like the last question was the maximum revenue, or the last video. So, here it says, what dimensions will give her the maximum area? Now, over here is perimeter. But because the question is asking for maximum area, we also have to be aware of the area formula. The area of a rectangular shape is the length times the width, okay? So what we're going to do to solve a question like this is we're going to get this formula right here. This, this is the information we were given about the 40 meters. We're going to use this, solve for either length or width, and substitute that into this equation right here. What I mean is we're going to, let's just get W all by itself, okay? So to get W all by itself, I'm going to um, minus 2L from both sides, okay? So what would, we, what would we be left with? We would be left with 40 minus 2L is equal to 2W. And then the last step is we would get rid of this 2 by dividing everything by 2. Divide everything by 2. This is just some old algebra that you're doing here. And we end up getting W equals, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. That's gone there. It's just a 1. It's invisible. 2 divided by 2, again, the same thing with that L. It's just negative L or minus L. 40 divided by 2, well, that's easier. That's just 20. So there we go. This is going to go right in here. Okay? We're going to put 20 minus L right there, okay? So the, ma the area is going to be length times, instead of width, I'm going to write 20 minus L, okay? If I was to multiply this out, um, if I was to multiply it out, I would get something that was like 20L minus L squared. And as soon as you have a squared, you know you have a parabola, which is what we were talking about over here. But because I don't really need to multiply this all out, Desmos, for example, will take something like this and accept it just the way it is. So 
Um, I think this is how I'm going to type it in Desmos, so just to make it a little bit easier for Desmos. I'm going to type in y equals x 20 minus x, just so that Desmos is a little bit more familiar with how to deal with that. Although it probably could take this, and I'm, I'm not going to test it out right now, since I got a video going here, folks. Okay, so we said that y equals x, x minus 20. That's our equation. Now we have a parabola, but it's pretty hard to see here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to zoom out until I see it. And that's what it was, right? Oh, shoot. x, 20 minus x. You were probably telling me that I was typing it in wrong, and I couldn't hear you because this is just a YouTube video. My apologies. Wow, suddenly that parabola looks so much better. My heart was racing there for a second because it was, first of all, the thing was upside down, not the way I wanted it. What we want here, and you can change the, um, you can change these numbers along the bottom and the, the and along the y-axis too by hitting the little wrench icon, graph settings, and you can change those if you want to. So, for example, the x-axis, I'll say anywhere between zero and I don't know, 20? Maybe 20 is a little bit too small, I'll say 30? 0 and 30. Just looks a little bit nicer now. See how the the window is now between 0 and 30 for the x-axis. What we're interested in here is finding what the highest point would be. Okay? So 10, 100. Okay? So x is 10, y is 100. Let's go write that down so that we can make sense of what that is. Um, so we have x is 10 and y is 100. That means, remember x is talking about length, so I'm going to put an L right there, and y is talking about the maximum area. y is talking about the area. So we can see from this answer that Desmos gave us that when the length is 10, we get a maximum area. We get 100, and let's look at, was there any uh, units here? Meters, okay. 100 meters, because it's an area, we get 100 meters squared whenever the length is 10. Now the question said, what dimensions will give her the maximum area? What dimensions? Well, when you talk about dimensions, we don't want to just talk about the length. We need to talk about the length and the width. So up here, area is equal to length times width, right? So the area, which is 100, I might as well write that in. Area is equal to length times width. When the area is 100, the length is 10, but we don't know what W should be. Well, you can pretty much guess 10 times what will give you 100, and you'll probably say 10. But just to do it the algebraic style, I'm going to say, well, get W all by itself, so divide both sides by 10. And then your final answer should be W, or the width, will equal 10 divided, 100 divided by 10 is 10. So the dimensions, the best dimensions, that will give the maximum area are 10 by 10. Okay? They're 10 by 10. That's often how we talk about dimensions. Um, this is not actually a rectangle, but it is a type of rectangle. But we often, when we see something like this, and if there's 10 there and 10 there, um, we call this a square because all sides are equal, okay? And if you multiply that out, you get 100, sorry, 100 meters squared. And that's the maximum area. This is 10 meters by 10 meters. And I should really put meters in there just to make sure it's following exactly what the question was asking. 40 meters of fence. Does it make sense? Well, what's 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10? It is 40. 
that is the ultimate area. And you know, that's what you find out. Um, even if you don't know how to deal with quadratics and parabolas, etc., eventually you'd figure out that this shape here is far better than a skinny shape like this that would also use 40 meters. Like let's say this was 1 and 1. Let's see, that would be 38 left. This would be 19 and 19. See, 19 meters, 19 meters, plus 1, plus 1 is also 40 meters all the way around. But if you were to multiply the area, 19 times 1, the area inside here is only 19 meters squared. That is not even close to the area that you get right here. So this is the maximum area. It's the best area. The chickens will be the most happy because they have way more room than a long skinny area that's only 19 meters squared. So her chickens will be happier. They'll lay better eggs. And perhaps if you eat meat, the meat will taste even better. Mm -mm. Okay. So here we have another question. 16 meters of fence are available to enclose a rectangular garden. What are the best dimensions of this garden in order to have the maximum amount of space for gardening? Okay, 16 meters of fence. It's very similar to the last question, okay? So the, the perimeter is two times the length and plus two times the width. We know 16 meters are available, okay? We also know that we're trying to find the maximum area, okay? We want the most space for gardening. That's important. Gardening is very important. So what's the maximum area? Well, we know the area formula for a rectangular shape is length times width. And we'll find out if this ends up being a square like the other one. It may be, but let's check it out. Remember the steps? I'm just repeating what we just did, folks. So you may not even need to watch the rest of this video if you feel you know enough, but I'm going to get W all by itself in case you forget. Okay, how do you get W all by itself? Well, start by getting rid of the 2L, okay? So minus 2L from both sides. We get rid of it there. So you get 16 minus 2L, because you can't put those together, they're not like terms, is 2W. Divide everything by 2. So divide everything by 2 and you end up getting 16 divided by 2 is 8, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so it's invisible, 2 divided by 2 is 1, it's invisible. So there we have it. W is equal to 8 minus L. Okay, so over here we're gonna say the maximum area is gonna be length times, instead of width, we're gonna write down what width is equal to 8 minus L. Because we're using Desmos, I'm going to change this to y and x. We'll just remember that x is talking about the length and y is talking about the width. Okay, so we go and type that in on Desmo Desmos. Make sure I got it in right. Yep, this time no mess up. And I'm going to hit this little home button for the default zoom just so we can see it. I'm going to drag it around. And I'm going to do this a little quicker than the last one to make this video a little quicker. We're looking for the maximum area. So we see that 4 and 16. We remember in the last video that 4 is talking about the length or the width. I forget which one. And 16 is talking about the maximum area. 4, 16. Let's write that down just so we can have it. This is what we got from using Desmos. Okay, so x is talking about the length, okay? So, what are the best dimensions? Well, we know it's going to be the length will be 4, the, max, the area, the area will be 16, and if we want to know the width, we just say area is equal to length times width, 16, 16 is A, right? 16 is equal to 4, because the length was 4, w. And if you know already, you can see already that a square is going to be our best answer because if you divide both sides by 4 to get w all by itself, we end up getting the dimension 16 divided by 4 is 4. We get the dimension um, 4, is it meters again? It is. Meters are pretty popular by 4 meters. 
our best dimensions so that you get the maximum area. Wow, I'm glad I'm glad that <laughs> that is terrible. So just remember this, four by four meters are the best dimensions possible, okay? They give us 16 meters. There is nothing else that we could get that would be bigger than that. So if it's 16 meters we're looking for, let's say we had a two there and a two there, and this would be, uh, let's see, that'd be four, 12, six, and six. Okay, all of this adds up to 16, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, but six times two is only 12 meters squared. That is smaller than our 16 meters squared. So this has given us our best possible dimensions according to what Desmos is showing here, okay? So we have to be happy with that as our answer, and I hope that helps you. Good luck as you do similar types of questions in this course. Take care. Bye.